Hey guys, Jim Wevin here, and today's episode 2 of my Redstone series. Last episode, we did make the automatic self fulfilling charcoal farm. Make sure to check that guys out. And today, what we're doing this episode is we're going to be making the obsidian generator, and this is a sweet design. Um, it pretty much uses redstone as its power source. What you do is you simply have your lava bucket right here. You have your redstone like this. You can also go ahead and put it in different spots if you really like to. You can go like this maybe if that interests you guys. Or you can go whatever you guys want. Uh, I'm going to show you the guys many designs on how to do this. But there's really cool different ways that you can possibly do this design. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do all of them. <laughs> Just so I can show you guys all the possible design um, ways. Just go right here. If I'm getting that right, yeah. Okay. So first of all, guys, uh, how this works is it's a bit of a bug. Uh, when lava meets redstone between water, it pretty much tries to put up a block of uh, cobblestone there. But then there's a redstone here, so it puts a block of obsidian. So let's go ahead and just uh, put our first piece of lava in there. Turn this baby on. And it did flow the wrong way, unfortunately, um, because I did not put the block right here, which should have been there. Uh, so you have to, unfortunately, have something there. So I press it, turns that block to him, so you press back, and look at that, we still have our block of lava. So that's the first way to do it. Then, of course, there are many, many different ways. Um, I'll do a few of them in this episode. Uh, of course, there is this way right here, where you're pretty much just pressing this button right here. Press the button, works many different ways. Uh, of course, it's going to work that way. A lot of people say it's the best to work up here. You pretty much put it over on this side right here. Then what you do is put your lava bucket uh, thing right here. Press this. Uh, turns into that. Turn it off. Mine it. Do the exact tr same trick again. And then turn it off. And then, yeah, you pretty much just do that. Unfortunately, it does sometimes do that, which is a little bit annoying depending on how you want to do it. So I'm going to have to turn that off really quickly. And then, yeah, it's just it's just sick. It's all obsidian generated. The only thing, the byproduct it does use is redstone, and it makes it into obsidian. So that, I have to admit, that is worth it, depending if you don't have a lava source or not, or if you have a lot of redstone and you want to get rid of it. So that's pretty much it for this obsidian generator tutorial, guys. As always, if you do like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you really like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This has been Jimbo Evan, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.